everyone welcome back to my show today we are making a very tasty type of paneer that is paneer 65 so here are the ingredients so in this recipe we have two segments one is to fry the paneer and make the coating of it and one is to make the outer coating that is little saucy that you can make it dry also so here are the ingredients your paneer you have to make big pieces of paneer this is half kg paneer here is some curd here turmeric red chili powder kashmiri red chili powder your garam masala and here some salt just for taste here is uh, some pepper and here is dhania powder and here is mix herb mix herbs so now we will start by making the mixture to put the paneer in and to coat it and then after that we'll fry it and then we'll make the sauces and the sauces are here which we need tomato ketchup corn flour we need for uh, making the mixture batter and we need for uh, some other ingredients for the sauce here is dry red chili here are uh, curry leaves and here is some finely chopped coriander and some chili sauce for taste and it is very very spicy so you have to just add a bit so now we will start first of all we have to put corn flour so according to the amount of paneer you have, you have to put corn flour and it is corn starch. So put how much ever corn starch you need for your paneer and for a good consistency. It has to be a very thick batter which you have to coat the paneer with. Right? So pour the corn starch. So now here we can see the cornstarch and now we will put the turmeric or oh, turmeric put it in now the kashmiri red chili powder this is less spicy and gives more color here is the mixed herbs here is the dhania powder here are some black pepper crushed and here garam masala and add a pinch of salt according to your taste now we will add some water and make it into a batter okay so after mixing the corn flour with all the spices we have two more ingredients here is some uh, rice flour it is optional to put it just gives a little more crunch and if you don't have you can make this dish so add the corn flour and add the curd the curd gives it a very nice taste and now we will add some water and mix it so now after putting the curd we have to put little by little water so that the consistency doesn't become too thin because this has to be a thick consistency so put little little water and mix it so that this doesn't go waste and it doesn't become too thin so it should just be a consistency with no lumps so just make it keep mixing 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 now we will add little bit more of water because if it becomes too thin then this whole thing will go waste so now we have achieved the right consistency and now we will coat the paneer with it so now here we have the paneer Put it all in and now very gently just mix it because we don't want the paneer pieces to break. So mix it all up with the batter which we have made 
and as you can see after we put the water the nice red taste uh, red uh, color which we have got because of the Kashmiri red chili powder and if you taste it it is not spicy at all just a bit of spice and lots of nice color okay so now we have the hot oil here and we will be putting the paneer with a spoon to avoid any splashes so put the paneer in one by one and if the coating has gone off then you can coat the paneer just before putting it in so put the paneer in and we will see you when all the paneer is fried and ready now all the paneer is fried and ready now we will make the sauce and it's the final stage now we will make the sauce all the paneer is fried and ready here are the ingredients we need some corn sauce to make corn sauce chili tomato ketchup chili sauce this is optional here are some finely chopped garlic, some coriander for garnishing, here are some curry leaves and here are red chili, dry red chili and some salt for taste. So now the oil is hot. Now we will put the garlic, don't let it go, stir it up quickly. And you can use the same oil which you have used for frying the paneer. And if you want, you can shallow fry the paneer also. And now we will put this red chili, dried red chili. And now we will put some curry leaves. The dry curry leaves, you can use fresh ones also. So mix it all up. So here we have all the things and we have fried them for some time. Now this is optional, you can just put some green chilies, you can chop them up if you want lots of spice. So add them in. Stir it all up and now if you want here at this stage you can add little salt because we are not using any soya sauce and, and please don't put soya sauce in this this recipe doesn't need it so now at this stage you have to put some tomato ketchup so be careful because it will fly mm -hmm. So now, after that, we have mixed the tomato sauce and you can add more also if you want. So now we will just add a bit of this sauce, just for a little spice. So just add little and for more better color, you can add some more. Uh, tomato ketchup now I will be showing you how to make the cornstarch slurry so here we have some water and some cornstarch mix some water and mix it so that it doesn't form any uh, doesn't form any lumps and that it is one smooth liquid like water and now for good coating we will add this in and mix it just mix it all up so what this cornstarch does is that it makes it thick 
so that a good coating can be there for the paneer and now if you feel like adding water you can add water and if you want more red color you can add some food color so here we have made the sauce you can add a little bit water and uh, please remember while putting the tomato ketchup keep your flame on low and stand far after putting it so now it has come to a good boil you can add some more water it will still stay as a thick slurry now it's time to add the paneer and now mix it up mix all the paneer with the sauce and now your paneer is all ready and now for garnishing we will put some coriander and this also gives its very own taste And now this paneer 65 is ready and you can see what a nice coating it has so now if you want it fully dry you can turn off the flame and uh, if you don't want it dry then you can turn off the flame and if you want it fully dry so that you can just take it out with the toothpick then you can just keep the flame on and let all of the water go so now i'll see you for tasting okay so now it's time for the testing so let's taste it here's the sauce which i have made it says one sauce so just dip it in that mm 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 it is very tasty and you can see the excellent coating which is there it is a very nice thick tasty coating so you can eat it as a snack if you are making lots you can eat it as a meal also so mm mm this mm. out of this world You must try this, and it is a very easy, simple recipe. Okay, bye, Anna, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.